Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. For those who are new here, my name is Kelly. I am a lymphedema and oncology physical therapist. Today in this video, we're gonna go through a full body lymphatic drainage flow routine for mobility and stretching. This routine is safe for everyone to do as long as they're cleared by their doctor. And the only equipment you're going to need is maybe a mat and maybe a pad or a towel for your knees. This video is done in collaboration with Lymphy Strong's Move That Lymph and Fitness Groups, which I will link in the description box down below. And before we begin, make sure that you subscribe down below for weekly new videos, and you can also follow along with us on Instagram or on our website for more resources. But other than that, get some space and we'll get started. So the first thing we want to do is start with some good deep breathing. We know how important deep breathing and abdominal work are for the lymphatic system and the lymphatic node. So hands on the belly, gently press, pressing inwards. Take a nice big belly breath, feeling your belly expand into your hands. Breath in and out. Good. Breath in. And out. Okay, we're gonna do one more big breath in and out. Okay, next, what we're gonna do is clasp our hands behind our back and we're going to reach back towards the wall behind you, opening up that chest. Feel that good shoulder roll, feel your shoulder blades open up, chest open up really reach back and then tuck your ear down towards your shoulder, roll down towards your chest and towards the other shoulder. We're gonna go back and forth a few times, just open up the chest to find whatever feels good, whatever you need with your neck, whatever feels tight. Cut a few more times. Opening up that chest and then we'll relax out. We're gonna take one hand, take the other elbow, gently bring it across the body. Feel that nice big stretch on the side of your back into your shoulder blade. And from there, what I'm also gonna do is bring my ear down towards my shoulder. Feel that extra stretch in the neck and gently come out of that. Same thing on the other side. Take the elbow across the body. Also add the ear down towards the shoulder for that neck stretch. Add a couple breaths. And then gently come back. Next we're gonna do is put our hands gently behind the lower part of our neck or behind our head. And I'm going to open up the elbows towards the side. Feel that good chest pec stretch across the front. Take a nice big breath in. Let it all go. One more time. Gently bring elbows out, big breath in. And let it all go. Gently come back in, arms down. Now we're gonna bring arms out towards the side. Really pinch your shoulder blades back behind you. Open up the chest, reach up towards the ceiling. And then back down, really feel that back stretch. Back up, feel the stretch all the way up, and then back down and pinch behind you. Good, one more time, and up, and back and down. Good, arms relax, we're gonna take one hand, put it back behind you, you can also add the other one behind you. Start to walk your hands closer together, open up those shoulders, one more good stretch across the front. You can add a couple neck stretches in if you feel like that's what you need. Couple breaths are out. And then relax back down. We're gonna move on to our hands and knees. So if you need something for your knees, you can grab that pad or that towel. From there, we're going to find a nice flat back. 
No arching into the back to start, core engaged. And we're gonna start by kicking one leg straight out and back in, bringing it up towards your chest. Kick it straight out and back in towards the chest. One more time, stretch that leg back out and then pull it in toward the chest. Gently put that knee back down, same thing on the other side. Leg goes out behind you, really stretch your heel down towards the back of the floor, back of the wall, tuck it in towards your chest. Reach that leg out from behind you and pull it all the way in using your core. Stretch all the way back one more time, all the way in. And then gently place your knees back down. From there, we're gonna do some cat and cow. So we're gonna drop our low back, lifting our gaze up, and then tuck your chin, round out your back. Feel those rib cage expansions. Then drop back down, belly drops, gaze lifts. And then tuck back down, rounding out that back. One more time, drop your low back, lift your gaze. And then tucking everything back in. Then we're gonna find back to a neutral position in the middle. We're gonna bring one leg straight back out again. And from there, we're gonna do five circles in one direction, really reaching back and then switch directions, five circles in the other direction. Make sure that you're not arching into your back. You feel your core engaged. Go ahead and relax that leg back down. Same thing on the other side. Reach that leg back behind you. Five circles in one way. And then five in the other way. Bring that back down. From there, we're gonna bring one leg up in front of us, keeping one leg back, knee stays down. We're going to gently lean in towards that front leg. You'll feel that nice big stretch through the hip. Keep your chest up and don't arch into your back, really squeeze in through your glute. And then we're gonna pull back, keeping your heel down, sitting back to you, feel a nice gentle stretch through the back of your thigh and behind the knee. And then we'll come back forward, really squeeze through your glute, feel a nice stretch through the front. And then pull back till you feel a gentle stretch right behind your knee, right behind your thigh. One more time, all the way forward. And all the way back. Good, and we'll come back to the middle. We're gonna go forward onto this front leg, place that hand down. You're gonna reach up towards the ceiling with the other hand. And back down and rotate back up. And if that's too much, you can also put your hand behind your head and just rotate at the elbow and back down. And then one more, reach up and back down. Gently come back. We're gonna switch to the other leg. So the other knee goes down, the other leg goes up and forward. Come up nice and tall. Gently lean in towards that back hip. Feel the stretch, making sure you're activating the glute. Chest nice and tall. Feel that stretch. Pull all the way back till you feel a gentle, mild stretch behind your knee, behind your thigh. All the way forward. Squeeze from your hip. Chest nice and tall. all 
all the way back, straight knee, gentle hamstring stretch. And then one more time, coming all the way forward. Good, stretch in the front of the hip and then pull it all the way back. Then we're gonna come all the way forward again. Hand gets placed down, reach up, rotating up to the hands towards that ceiling. Feel that rotation and then come on back down. Again, your modification would be hand behind the head, rotating with that elbow and then coming back down. One more time, use our hand all the way up. Feel that rotation, feel that stretch. And all the way back down. Gently come back, leg comes back, take that out from underneath us. We're gonna roll into our backs. All the way down. Gently we're gonna take both knees into our chest, curl up into a nice little ball can roll around, whatever feels good for your low back. Nice, good stretch. Then we're gonna have one leg drop all the way down. Hold on to the other one. We're gonna bring that across the body. Other arm goes out to the side. Gaze follows that back arm. Take a nice, big, deep breath here. And let it all go. Sinking further into that stretch. One more big breath and let it all go. Hold for a few more seconds. Gently come back to the middle. Bring the other knee back up. A little bit more low back stretch in the middle. And then when you're ready, drop the other leg back down, keeping that knee tucked in, bring it across the body. Follow your gaze out the back side. In this position, take a nice big breath in and let it all go, sinking further into that stretch. One more big breath in and let it all go. Gently come back to the middle, both legs on the ground. We're gonna let your legs fall out one way, back to the middle, other way, back to the middle, just a few more small motions. Anything we can do to engage those abdominals, get the lymphatic drainage, all of the fluid through your body ends up going deep in the abdominal area, deep into the chest, back towards the heart. Wanna make sure that where these are the but most stimulated. Good, and coming back to the middle. When you're ready, you can have your legs go straight down, arms up overhead, nice big stretch from your toes to your fingers. Feel one more big breath through your ribs and your belly and let it all go. Gently bring your arms down, place them on your abdomen. We're gonna finish with three more belly breaths. So hands on the belly, press in, take a nice big breath in and out. Breath in and out. One more, gently pressing in your abdomen, big breath in. And out. So I hope you enjoy that gentle lymphatic drainage routine. Hopefully you feel good, more mobile, and really that you've stimulated a lot of important lymph nodes to get that fluid moving throughout your body. If you're looking for more videos, you can check out the playlist, which I'll link up above, and we'll see you all in the next video. Thanks everyone.